it's all going to be up to Kyler Murray. And, you know, they, the Cliff Kingsbury, Kyler Murray, Michael Bidwell, Steve Keim, they got to put the genie back in the bottle, Brad. They just do. They, you know, think about it. Uh, you know, what happened this off season can't be undone with everybody just being nice and pleasant and everybody singing Kumbaya. We'll see how this goes, but somebody wanted that clause in that contract. <laughs> and you know that when that clause goes in a contract, you, you can't be so naive to think that no one's going to find out about it. And if people find out about it, what is going to happen? The predictable storm is going to happen and it happened. So, you know, look, he, all I can say is this guy is going to have to be the PhD of the pocket, <laughs> you know, this year, Kyler Murray, uh, or else everybody's going to be wondering about everything pertaining to his work ethic. And uh, we'll see how that comes to be. Yeah, the fan base out here, to say they're skeptical, I'd be understating it because it's just going to be one off week and it's going to be, see, he's playing too many games. He's, he's not doing it. He's not studying enough. He's got to be studying. This clause is in the contract for a reason. And the fan base out here, I've not seen a story cause that big of a bleep storm, Peter, in a long, long time out here. How long did it last, Brad? I think, Peter, it's still going. There's still people here that don't believe that they, they want to say, prove it. Okay? Prove it on the field. Prove it every yeah. Sunday. Not one Sunday, not two Sundays. And let's see what happens in December because this team has failed in December the last two years. It's worth remembering. It just is. That if you look back at the team that Kingsbury and Kyler Murray inherited, a three-win team. Yep. They go from three wins to five wins to eight wins and then to 11 wins in the playoffs. And again, you know, you can say whatever you want. You're disillusioned with some things about Kyler Murray. But the fact is you drafted him and two and a half years after you drafted him, you won 11 games and made the playoffs. You know, everything else, not 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 everything. But all this other stuff that people are talking about, and probably rightfully so, it's a long off season. Just remember that what Kyler Murray was drafted to do, uh, lead the Cardinals to the playoffs, he did. And we can you can throw away all the other stuff and just understand, and I understand, there, there's a lot of people who don't value number of wins for a franchise in a quarterback's resume. I do. Mm -hmm. I have been made fun of for years because I do think that quarterback wins should be a statistic because quarterbacks represent everything in a franchise. If you don't have one, you're not winning 11 games, period. I appreciate your time and your insights as always. Look forward to catching up with you if possible during the season, Peter. Thanks. Okay, Brad. Thanks a lot.